Hey kids, Jason here on Total Toys TV, and we're gonna be looking at the turtle sewer layer. Layer, not later. We're gonna do it now. It's gonna be the sewer layer. So this is from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV show. This is fun because we get this guy right here. This is Tiger Claw, one of the only ways you can get Tiger Claw. Maybe the only way. You also get Foot Soldier and Leo, and of course we have the super ever recognizable turtle layer. And uh, you see we got some pipes here. Here on the back you can see we have a lot of fun play features. So we're gonna go ahead, open this up, review it for you, tell you what we think. And to do that, we first have to open this guy up. And we have broken the seal. Let's get it open. It's not easily gotten open. As you can see, the side is already pretty torn up. There we go. Just got to get a good grip on it. All right, so I finally got it open. You can see, uh, it looks like a katana sword actually ripped it open. So we have a lot, look at this, a lot of bags and things in here. So here is our two instruction booklets that you get in the box. Then we have one bag, not a big bag. Two bags, well we got some slime in there. Three bags. Four bags, five bags, six bags. This is all a lot of the tube stuff. And what is that, seven bags? So seven bags and we still have our figures over here. This is a pretty cool deal. A zip line action with Leo out of the box. You can see that there. And it took me a while, but I finally have all three of our figures out of the box. Here's a quick look at them. We're going to give you a better look here in a minute, but I first got to build all of this stuff. So let's do it. All right, so here we have our turtle layer, and there is a number of areas that we have some play features and kind of different areas in the actual turtle layer. Now we get three figures. Let's first head in and see who those are. First up here, of course, is Leo, and you can see Leo on the back here. He has something permanently attached to his shell. It's a manhole, but it's also a zip line. It's one of the play features that we will show you. Zip line comes out of the back of that, and then as you see, it comes in. So we will show you what that play feature is. We get one turtle, it being Leo. And then we have two bad guys. We have Tiger Claw here, a bigger figure than some of the other ones. And you can see on the side of him, he has a couple of uh, guns or blasters that he's going to bring into the turtle layer that Leo is going to have to deal with. And then a Foot Clan soldier is here and he's holding his weapon is a mace. So now back to our turtle layer and there is a number of play features. We're going to just go one by one, different area, show you everything that this set has to offer. Starting over on the right, we have a little platform here with a couple of ladders going up, another one going down. We have some slime or some toxic sludge that we see in the, the sewer, basically, the sewage. And this is kind of a training area right here. So we have like a dummy here that the turtles can punch and it will spin around. And then over here, because we have Leo, we have kind of like a little weapons rack and this will come off. It also spins around. You can see both of Leo's katana swords are on there. And again, it is on a little swivel piece, so you can connect it again and turn it all around. And then this section right here, this is like their little lobby or little lounge area. So the turtles can sit in these different spots. They're colored, it's kind of the most colorful area of this set. Then we have a crate here, and I'll look on top. There is a laptop, and I think we know whose laptop that probably is. It's purple, so it probably belongs to Donnie. Plus, he's kind of like the tech guy and it is sitting on a crate, which is a little rubbery and actually a really cool part. Now we have the lobby, and so of course we're gonna have a TV set. So we have that right here. They're watching Space Heroes, and uh, that will also swivel around a bit over a uh, manhole cover just below it. Now off to the left of our little lobby lounge area, we have the subway. So we have a sign up here, and then we have a turnstile, which is kind of to get on the subway. Now, it is only partially uh, kind of that whole scene, the subway scene, 
but it does give us, you know, that feeling that the layer is beneath it. And so that's the purpose. You kind of step up here, you have the subway. So you would go down to the subway this particular way and then up right here, the, the turnstile. So it's somewhat of a play feature, but really not uh, so much where you're gonna get any value in fighting or anything like that with your figures. Now we are all the way back up to the top. I think it's best to show you what's going on up here. We have Leo up here. He's out on the street and we have a little fence here to just show you, hey, we're outside, we're on the street. And on top of here, there is basically like a little vent or a manhole cover. And we can put one of our figures, let's say our foot soldier, we can put him down there. And he's gonna come out of the bottom. Now, the cool thing about this is, okay, he has snuck into the turtle layer, but how are we gonna defeat him? And this is one of the better play features of the turtle layer. This is how right here. So we push this down here, this, this red wheel. We have probably want to stand up your foot soldier. So let's say he comes in, he's standing up. We push this down and that whole floor base plate will explode. And uh, then you've kind of captured or blown up our foot soldier. So that's the play feature in that whole thing. You bring him down the sewer into the pipes and then you explode the floorboard on them. Now this play feature is easily able to do over and over again. You just put it back there and it connects again and you can just keep doing it. And then last of all, kind of the last play feature and also includes Leo's play feature as well. So we have this area, there's a string that kind of connects this. This will swivel somewhat. We could have Tiger Call kind of walk across there or hang across there with his hands. And then we have Leo. So you remember Leo has on his back, we has like what looks like a manhole cover, but it's really kind of like a, a zip line jet pack sort of thing. And what you're gonna do is you're going to pull it all the way out. You're gonna attach it to where you want him to go. Then here we have Leo down in the bottom. We're connected up there on the top and you're just kind of let him go and you'll see that he will move right up there all the way to the top. So Ninja Turtle fans, that is a look at your sewer turtle layer from Mega Blocks. Now, what do we think of this? This is a review, so what do we think? Well, retail price of this is $42.99 at release. Uh, you can get it on sale a lot, though lower than that. And so I think for play value, kids that are into Ninja Turtles, it's definitely gonna be a lot of fun. You don't really get Tiger Claw in a lot of Mega Bloks Ninja Turtle stuff. This actually may be the only one. So that may be a draw to get a new villain. Foot Soldier, you can never have too many of those. You do only get one turtle, so that may be a bit of a downside, the fact that you only get one turtle, but I'm sure you probably have lots of turtles from your other Mega Bloks sets. And it's really easy to get the turtle with the mystery packs that they release and so many of the other sets. You can add those two here, no problem. So those are our thoughts and review for the turtle sewer layer from Mega Blocks. Want to thank you guys all for watching. I am Jason and you are watching Total Toys TV.